I am recording this session by using Collaborate in the Blackboard course shell. To be or not to be, fair use. I've learned a lot over the last two days and just wanted to share that with you. And I don't think that I'm in trouble for using to be or not to be because it is just part of the phrase and it was written a few centuries ago. A couple things that I learned. How to obtain an image on my beloved Google Images that I can actually use in my courses. I found out from my readings and searches that if you use, type into Google, the advanced Google image search, that then you can find what you are looking for. So I put into the advanced Google search Drexel University. But there is also an area in the red box over to the right that shows that the safe search is on because what I did was I clicked on it and made sure that it said safe search on. If you do that, then the pictures that you are using are supposed to be fair use images. So I did a search of Drexel University and I was really surprised to find the logo there. But when I clicked on the logo, I found that it was actually from an educational presentation given at Drexel University at lunchtime by someone else from another university, but they had the Drexel logo there. So I imagine that because it was for educational purposes that that's how the logo um, was able to be had on the Google search. Now, if I turn it off, I then can see that I have less pictures, but I still have quite a few um, that I can actually use. So over here you see safe search, it does not say safe search on. So I will go back so you can see that. This says safe search on and look at the pictures again of Drexel University. Now I will go back and it says uh, safe search is not on, and so these are just an examples of some of the pictures that I'm able to get. And actually, this uh, picture in the upper left-hand corner is actually from our website, and it's a PDF of um, main campus. Now, I also found uh, that when I went online trying to find how to turn safe search on or off, I was able to get directions by simply uh, Googling this. It also gives you uh, directions if you're using this um, by a mobile phone, etc. Now I wanted to test this idea for safe YouTube uses because I get a number of um, YouTube uh, videos um, for my nursing students. And what I was able to find, this is how I place it in my Blackboard course shell. And it says a video on patient simulation demonstration. And it's for my nurse educator students and what I want them to see. I have various different types of simulation listed. And this is when they're learning about simulation. This is the full length of the video. And it is a duration of three minutes. When I went to the, when I clicked on it and the YouTube begins to play, I did see that there's an area at the bottom, which again I put in a red um, box around it to show you that it says show more. Um, when you ask it to show more, it says the standard YouTube license. So then I had to say to myself, okay, now what is the standard YouTube license? I have no idea what that is. And so, I found actually a YouTube on, I have to read this right from here because I thought now I'm going crazy. To learn more about standard YouTube license and creative commons, here is a YouTube video about standard YouTube license and creative commons. So look at this as at your leisure. It does say that it is free for anyone to use, um, but I don't want to take up your time here with that. Here, however, is a description about the content. And what it says is that their standard license is a content is provided to you as is. 
Um, basically what this means is as soon as anyone uploads something to YouTube, um, it means that you can use it um, within your courses or as you please, except if you put it into another YouTube video and make a mashup of several videos, then you're kind of treading on slippery ground and you have to look for YouTubes that say specifically, YouTube videos that say for Creative Commons um, or something like that. But at any rate, I thought that I would um, show you this. I found it to be quite interesting. Thank you for your time.